there, Athenians! It's me, Shay, your student guide for this episode. In our second episode of the Athenian Guide, we will discuss the ways on how to manage your dashboard in Daigler. Upon logging into your Daigler account, you will be taken to your dashboard. Your dashboard is your personal page, which shows the overview of the courses you are enrolled in. My dashboard includes recently accessed courses block, and other different blocks such as online resources where you can access ebooks and e-journals, a timeline showing activity deadlines, private files that you have uploaded in Daigler, the list of online users, latest badges, calendar, and upcoming events block that shows the upcoming events that you have set in your calendar. You can customize the dashboard by clicking Customize this page button and reset it back to the site's default by clicking Reset Page to Default. Blocks may be moved to the center of the dashboard, like this, and may be moved below, like this, or above other blocks, like this. Blocks may be removed by clicking the gear icon found at the top right of the block. You may also add blocks by clicking add a block found at the bottom of the dashboard. Here, we see the available blocks for the dashboard including start courses, comments, and a lot more. Going back to the main dashboard, you will see the courses you are enrolled in with progress bars. However, some do not have progress bars. These are set up by the teacher when they enable activity completion. For example, my course ergonomics 2 lab does not show a progress bar. On the other hand, my ESM 30, 44 or basic occupational safety and health shows a progress bar. My dashboard is displaying all my courses but you can change this view. You may change it to in-progress view or the view that displays all courses that you are currently accomplishing. Courses may be bookmarked or stored from the three dots and then quickly located in the stored view. You can also hide courses by clicking the three dots found at the side of the course and clicking remove from view. The course will then be removed from the view and can only be accessed in the remove from view. Courses may be displayed either by the course name or by last access. Lastly, courses may be shown with their course images or cards, which is set up by the teachers, which you can see in my dashboard. There is also an option to display them as a list or as a summary. Have fun managing your dashboard. And that's a wrap for this episode. We hope that you learned a lot and you will share your learnings to your classmates and your friends here in the Ateneo. You can access this video in our YouTube channel at Ado Official and on our Twitter and Facebook accounts that's at Ateneo Online Ed. I'm Shane, your student guide, and this is episode 2, Managing Your Dashboard in Daigler. Thank you and see you in our next episodes!